D-S-L-R Film. Noob. All right, guys, so what I've got for you today is the Torch LED Bolt by Swisstronics. This is basically a camera mountable LED panel that puts out roughly 200 watts of equivalent light output from a single battery powered LED panel. This thing runs on the Sony F970 batteries. This one is a 660 milliamp hour battery that gives you roughly two hours of operation at full output of the torch LED bolt. It has dimmer panels on the back that allow you to control the light output along with adjust the color temperature of this panel. So let's take a closer look at the torch LED bolt and see if it's right for your setup. The torch LED bolt comes in two parts. First you get the torch LED itself and you get the upgrade battery pack. So let's open the torch bolt and see what's inside. If we flip this right here and pop this open, you'll see first there's a little pad to protect the LED torch. And you can see that they have this kind of black protective layer over the top of it. Here's the torch itself. It is basically just an LED panel. You've got a lot of LEDs right here with these Fresnel lenses to amplify the amount of light and direct it at a certain point. So you take that out. Look inside of this package right here is the light filter that goes on to the torch LED. Snaps on like so. And then you have basically a little filter slide for the torch LED. At the bottom, you have this D sub cable, which allows you to plug this into an alternate battery source, say if you have a V-Lock battery system or something like that. And finally, you have this little guy right here, which is basically your average swivel type cold shoe adapter. In the other box, we have this Sony style F970 battery and this kit comes free when you order that special deal from B&H. Let's open this box up. It's probably, yep, there's the battery charger. This is just a standard battery charger for that 660 milliamp hour battery right here. The Torch LED has these two dimmer switches on the back. One is for 3200K light temperature and the other one is for 5600K light temperature. The two of these combined allow you to mix the light to accommodate whatever light coloration you need. The combination of these turned all the way up gives you around a 400K color temperature light source if you want this to be cranked up to 200 watts equivalent light output. There is an on off switch on the back, the battery plate area of course, and then you have this little nubbin right here, which allows you to power the unit with anything from 12 volts all the way up to 16.8 volts. This makes it handy if you have something like a V-Lock battery system or you have say a tachyon battery system and you would like to power this for an extended amount of time. This does only have this single quarter 20 mount on the bottom. I would have liked to have seen quarter 20 mounts on all of the sides of this unit in case you needed to adapt something to it. The unit itself is made out of hard plastic. I would have liked to see this made out of aluminum, but if you make it out of aluminum, it would add weight to the unit, making it less convenient for camera mounting and making it more of a stationary or light stand mounted light. So I do see the reason why they chose to go with plastic. Also, you'll note that there are ventilation holes along all the sides of this unit. This is not meant for extreme weather. If you have rain or you're shooting outside in a very wet fog, you may damage the unit if you don't have something to protect it. So keep that in mind if you're taking this outdoors. You do not want to expose this to rain. Even though technically the LED torch bolt is designed to be camera mountable, it is a little bit heavy for doing run and gun shooting. This thing weighs roughly a pound and when you add the battery pack, you're looking at about a pound and a quarter altogether. I think this was actually intended more for shoulder rigs with a counterweight system or to be used on light stands or as a fill light. This thing it is extremely bright. So if you had three of these or four of these, that could basically be your entire lighting setup. And since it doesn't require a receptacle or a power cord to operate, you could use these in outdoor situations or in areas where you don't have access to power. This is also extremely good if you need to hide it in a small area like a crevasse 
and aim it towards the character's face to illuminate them when other lights aren't catching that portion of them or to backlight or to fill in different areas. The spread on this is about 60 degrees and the throw is very nice. I was able to light faces in a pool hall at about 14 feet with this turned up and it did a good job of filling in those areas and brightening up my characters while I was filming. Even though the torch LED bolt is somewhat big, compared the bolt to this 200 watt equivalent compact flash bulb, the bolt is about half the size, just giving you an idea of how much light output is coming out of such a small device compared to the compact flash equivalent. All right, let's call our test subject Stacy. We are five feet away from Stacy at ISO 400 and an f-stop of f2.2. All right, we are seven feet away from Stacy now at f2.0 and ISO 400. All right, and this last test is 12 feet away from the subject at ISO 800 and an f-stop of 2.0. I think the final verdict is that if you need a unit like this that puts out an extreme amount of light, the torch is a very good value for the price. But if you don't have a lot of money to spend, there are a lot of cheaper LED panels out there that run between $35 and $55 that you can buy on Amazon or on BNH or any of these other camera websites that will put out about a tenth of the amount of light of this unit. You could buy four or five of those and then just turn your ISO setting up, but then if you have something like a T2i, you could be getting into noise areas. If you need extreme brightness, this thing is definitely excellent, but I could see a lot of people not choosing this for the price that it's in. If you'd like to find out more about the torch, LED bolt, you can swing over to dslrfilmnoob.com for pictures and a full written review. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe.